So welcome again to Winding 101 Ultra Sensual Edition. This is part three, day three. We have one more in this series. We're going to take a break for about a week and then we're going to start back. Today we're going to be getting sexy and nice to a nice warm up by I Am Woman. Not by I Am Woman. The name of the song is I Am Woman. Let me see if I can. The name of the singer is Emmy Melly. All right. So we're going to just... Do some nice visualizations and breathing techniques to this song here. I'm going to turn the music up and you let me know by a raise of your thumbs if you can hear me over the music. All right, this is a test. Let me know if you're hearing my voice over the music. If I step back like this, you're hearing me? Is that okay? Is that a good enough volume? All right, so if you need it to be louder, just let me know. All right, so here we go. I am woman. I am all right, so we're gonna stand. We're gonna start standing today. Just get my hair up. Starting with some deep inhaling and exhaling through the mouth. So we're inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Just find a nice spot. Push the hips from side to side. Make sure the toes are in contact with the floor, the heels, the ball of the foot. All right. Once you find that nice, comfortable zone, that comfortable space. We're going to start by breathing in, bring the arms up overhead, deep inhale through the nose. Take that breath all the way down to the tips of your toes, through your hips, and then bring it down. Breathe out, bring the breath right back up and out of the body. Deep breath in again. And again, breathe out. Deep breath in, you're growing taller and taller. And breathe out. Two more just like this, breathing in. And breath out. One more, breath in. And breath out. From here, I just want you to lift the arm up, breathing in, lifting up. Up, out of the rib cage, reaching up and out of the hips, reaching over to the side. You can hold on to the side of your leg for support. You're in between two walls, so I don't want you to lean forward or backwards. You're dead center, just like so. And of course, you're stretching, you're listening to your body. If there's any pain, you back off of that movement. Relax the neck, relax the jaws, relax the bros, the cheeks. Lifting up, reach over to the other side, relax the shoulders. You should feel a nice stretch along the side of the body. Pull the belly button in. Everybody pull the belly button in so it keeps you nice and stable. Make sure the toes are still in contact with the floor. We're going to reach over to the opposite side one more time. Lifting up and out. Lifting up. Growing. Every time you reach the center, I want you to lift up a little higher. Mm -hmm. Be breathing in and out. And lifting up. Breathing in, all nice, positive, good, good energy. And breathe it out. Lifting up. From here, I just want you to take one hand, pull the head gently over to the right side. This is my right. And moving over to the opposite side. Breathing in, breathing out, same thing. And reaching over to the opposite side again, two more times on each side. And switching. Still maintaining the breath, deep breath, inhaling and exhaling. We're being very gentle with our bodies. And again, over to the opposite side, last time on this side. And reversing, as you pull the neck or the head towards the side, I want you to be dropping this shoulder down, the opposite shoulder is dropping down, so it gives you an even more of an intense stretch. Alright, from here, just want you to pull the head, you can clasp the hand, be gentle with this stretch, it can elicit some amount of extreme sensation down the spine, so you want to be gentle with this one, especially if you know you have some spine ailments already, so you just hands behind the head and you tuck in the chin to the chest just like so 
You can curve the, the elbows inwards. Just hold that for about 10 counts. And reversing, clapping the hands under. Gently again, pushing the head up. And then, same thing, clasping the hands behind the head. Good. Bringing the chin to chest, deep breath in, inhaling good vibes, exhaling bad vibes, self doubt, breathe it all out. All right, from here we're going to do chin to chest, rotating to the right, and then we're going to go to the left. All right, so here we go in three, two, one, chin to chest, rotate. And opposite side, and I want you to just listen to the words of this song. Right around, and reverse it. Lift the shoulders up and press them down. Lift them up, press them down. Lift it up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Release that tension. Good. Lift it up, squeeze, 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 and release that tension down. Pull them down away from the body. That's good. Girls, you got it going on. Anybody telling you different is crazy. Pull them down. Uh -huh. Pull it up. And down. And now we're just going to roll the shoulders back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lifting up and release. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, push the torso side, side, remember we touched on this movement last week, push the torso to the side, and side, good, just shifting the torso side to side, if this is a little difficult for you, if you feel a little bit awkward, I want you to put your hands by your rib cage and pretend that you're shifting, it's almost like you're lifting bottles, so think of yourself at a factory and you're, you're holding, you're on a line, you move, you lift the bottle, you put it to the side. Lift the bottle, put it to the side. So pretend that your rib cage is a bottle, a big jar. <laughs> you lift it up, put it to the side. Lift it up, put it to the side. It's a rib cage, put it to the side. You can place your hands right on your rib cage, push it from side to side. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, pushing forward with the chest, you're gonna push your chest forward, pull it back, pull it forward, back, forward, and back. That's it. Go again. One. Good. Push the boobies forward, pull them back, push them forward. Five. Six. Alright, from here, we're getting into the hip. So just move the hips from side to side for me. Feel what's going on there. If you have any little creaky, hold it to one side. If you feel like you need to hold it there, just feel the hips a little bit because we're going to go into a wind, but I want you to make sure those hips are nice and uncreaky. I just uncreaked my left hip. <laughs> Sometimes you have to do that, right? Especially if you're sitting all day. I was driving all day, so I'm extremely tired, right? So push the hips from side to side just like that. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna push the hips from front and back. Front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, and back. Keep going. Front, back, front, back, front, back. Front, back. Front, back. Good. Alright, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. From here, what we're gonna be doing, we're energizing those hips pushing them around so even though we're tired we can still energize ourselves by getting the motion getting the mind to body connection so now we're connecting our minds with our hips 
I want you to really just commit to the movement, push the hips around, listen to the music, believe the words of the song, make those words your words. Good, that's it. Reverse it. Again, one, two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight. Drop the hips down and pull them up. We're going to do another tester. We're dropping down. We're actually going to go into a sumo squat and down. Shimmy the hips again from side to side. We're going to drop into it real time now. Push the hips back. We're going to a nice sumo squat, warming us up for the movements that we're going to be doing today. And even if you're not able to go all the way down, if you're right here, ensure you're pushing the tailbone back if it is available to you. Push the tailbone back and allow yourself to dip. If it becomes severely painful, back out of the movement, right? If you are allowing yourself to just fall down, do some deep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Let's stay here for about 20 seconds to 30 seconds, right? Breathing in and out. Five, four, three, two, and slowly coming up. From here, I want you to either you hold on to a wall or you can just hold on to the hip. We're gonna pull the one leg back, stretching the front of the hip. Alright? We're holding that for 20 seconds on this side, 20 seconds on this side. Then we're gonna go into a hamstring stretch, a hamstring stretch, and then we're gonna get into our routine. All right, so we'll go for a quadricep stretch or our hip flexor stretch right here. And the aim is really to try to get the knee pointing down to the floor, tucking the pelvis under, not back. If you are right here, that's fine, okay? If you're right here, try to make sure you in, the, the, the hips are kept squared, right? We have about 10 seconds left if you are holding it with me. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Opposite side, 20 seconds. Holding it. Tuck the pelvis under. Hold it. One. And release it. Hamstring stretch on the. This is my left side, you can pick whichever side you want to. Square the hips, push the pelvis back. Hands are either above the knee, below the knee, or on either side of the foot. Alright? One, two, and push to the opposite side. Same thing, square the hips, meaning both hip bones are facing to the front. Push the hips back. Hands are above the knee, below the knee, or on either side of the foot. Try to keep this knee straight. Do a wind for me, test out those hips, test that entire body. Any creaky creaky, just pause and just stretch it out. Opposite side, same thing. You got it going on. I'm telling you. Deep breath in, inhaling all goodness, all sexiness, all sassiness, that's it. And breathe it out. Yeah, we got it going on. We do, don't we? 
Give me a thumb up if you've got it going on. <laughs> That's it. All right, cool, cool. So ladies, grab your chairs. If you don't have your chair, grab a sip of water if you have not already. And you know, warm or room temperature water is always best because the body doesn't take as much energy to redistribute to that area where you, your water is going to get that water down to body temperature, right? The cold water while you're working out can zap your energy. So let's find the music for this class. It has been Mavado's feeling. So we're doing two more weeks of this song, which is this, this class and next week's class. And then we take a break. Then the following week, we're going to start with a new song. Um, and of course, as per usual, the persons who are going to be joining us, joining us for the fourth, the fourth series, Winding 101, I give it to you. You can choose a song. You can choose a mixture if you like. But we do the same thing. We do choreography. And uh, towards the end of the class, we can discuss if we want to have an inter interval class because new persons keep coming on. So I'm thinking there may have to be a class that happens at another point during the week where I break down stuff like the reverse wine and other stuff like that where new persons may not be privileged to. And so my more advanced ladies who have been here from week one, we can just carry on with our merry party, right? So then there will be a class for ladies to catch up. So I'm thinking about doing that. You can just let me know what you think. And in the class discussion at the end, we can talk about it. So here we go with the Movado. Let me save that to this here. Hold on here, here. Where am I? Let me do it to this one so that I can loop it. All right, so get your chairs if you have not. Bum, 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 bum. Remove that song from the playlist. Let me just refresh the page. This is the song that we're playing right now. All right, let me loop this. Loop is off, loop is on. All right, here we go. So again, that's the song. <laughs> Here we go on our chairs. So let's, we'll go for it about 30% just from memory. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Close it, close it, and up. One, two, three, four. Take it down. Two, three, four. Wind it. One, two, three, four. Reverse it. One, two, three, four. The cat, cat, down. One, three, four. Six, seven, eight, and up. And one, two, three, four, under. And turn. And of course, of course, we had modifications. So, for example, the one that went all the way down to the floor, this one, remember? Oh, <laughs> the modification was here with the feet on the ball. And then it was just, you're wagging the tail. So the visualization that we used was wagging the tail, the puppy tail, right? So that was a modification. And then the stand-up was a modification, step both legs up, take your time. Or if you're one of those hot scal, bad gal, we're really in shape, <laughs> like emphasis on the in shape, you just jump up and that's you, all right? So whatever it is, your body's feeling, you're the only person who can know, and so you will know which modification is best for you. So let me know how you felt about that. That was 30%. We're going to go again about a couple more times so that we feel really nice and jazzy, sexy, very sensual to this routine. I want you to think about 
as we had said last week, your most sensual self, tap into that one point in time. It could have been today, could have been yesterday, could be years ago, that you felt at your most sexiest, most sexiest self. Think about that time. Think about it. You know, the brain has an amazing way of recreating moments in time. Let's try that, shall we? Exciting stuff. So I have my visualization in my head. I hope you all have yours. We're going to start from the top. And if there's any questions at the end, which I don't think there will be, well, there are there signs. Then you just drop them, okay? Here we go. So get on that chair. Here we go. Nice and into yourself. You're not looking at Chris Corey. You're not looking at the lady next to your window. You're feeling yourself. Wind it out. Two. Three. Four. Bring it in. Nice and slow. Two, three, four. Pull it up. Two, three, four. One. Two. Breathe. Three. Four. Take your time. Reverse line. One. Reverse that one. That's it. Two. Breathe. Yes, girl. That's it. Breathe. Kitty cat. Over. Down. And puppy tail. Puppy tail. That's it. Yes. Six. Seven. And up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And turn. I want you to each drop a message in the chat. Drop a message in the chat. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know how that was for you on a scale of zero to 10. How do you think you did just now? And you could also add what else you think you could have done better. I want you to use the chat like your personal journal. Tell me how you felt. Tell me how, the, how that was for you. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Let me see here. Tap in, tap in, and be very honest with yourself because it's this is how we're gonna grow. This is how we're gonna tap in, right? Sage is at an eight. Good. Ruby's at a two point five. Good. Ruby, you need to add something more to that. Add some more to that. So I, I see, right. So just like what Sage has done here. So Sage says she's at an eight, but she needs to improve just more practice. So I want you, so Ruby, I want you to add where you think is your weak point. And then I also want you to think about where are your strengths. All right. Khadija says, six for me, stand up twerk, I need to work on, and timing too. All right, cool, cool. We'll work on that. Sage says, more flow. Tracy says, not feeling sexy on the jump up. All right, let's fix that. 7.5 says, Tamia, but need more practice like Sage. Okay, cool, cool. Was there any particular point that you said, Tamia, was there any particular point that you feel like you needed more practice? Sage mentioned flow. Tracy mentioned not feeling sexy on the jump up. Khadija says on the jump up, yes, more practice. Okay, cool, cool. So definitely a common goal. We got to work on that jump up. More practice, transition to floor, and transition getting up from puppy tail. Okay, getting up from the floor. Yes, I think that's common for everybody. Transition from getting up from puppy tail. Okay, cool. The transition. Okay, we'll work on the transitions right now. All right, so here we go. Ruby. Ruby, are you adding more? Where's Ruby? <laughs> Ruby, I need more. So while Ruby is thinking about that, we're gonna go into, let me take a sip of my juice here. Um, more flow, okay. So let us go into, 
the whining on the chair and going into the floor using the breath so let's look at that whining and going to the floor so we're going to start on the chair <laughs> what was yours oh ruby says that was mine you just read oh my bad oh i am sorry <laughs> more practice just okay cool cool thanks ruby so okay so here we go we're gonna go in for flow first um flow comes with breath so the flow comes with a lot of breathing right which is why in the beginning of uh, the class i like to do the breathing the visualization now for everybody even professional dancers when you're learning something for the first time it can be very edgy because you're really just focusing on trying to learn the steps and then your the feelings will come right but the thing is that what i've learned over time is that sometimes it's really about the feelings no pun intended with the song but it really is about how you're feeling within because this routine dare i say it's apart from the transitions which i know i i i i, I give they are a little bit um, complicated or a little bit challenging if you're not like trained to do those on a regular but it really has a lot to do with breathing and then the intention behind your movement all right so what i want us to do i want you to go on a chair we're going to get into the breath i want you to go back tap into that sexy goddess we're only going to be doing let me show you we're going to be doing the first three movements so from here From here, from here, I want to see you do this movement, only this movement, right? So we're going to do a little bit more than we would do in the regular routine, um, but I want you to focus on breathing. Close your eyes if you need to. Visualize, right? I want you to get that feeling in your body because the reality is it doesn't matter. I know some persons might look at me and say, oh, she looks so great when she's doing it. But you have persons who have like 100%, they just are like Cirque du Soleil stars, they're super flexible, super amazing dancers. But then it's like, you look at them and it's almost like you're just, you're watching, you're just watching them kind of just go through the movement. Which is why many times it is so beautiful when just average regular persons dance. And interestingly, a lot of average persons tend to go viral on social media just because they're a lot more relatable. So I don't want you to feel, get weighed down by oh i need to be this perfect dancer so don't try to perfect the movement really get that intention inside visualize you're dancing for somebody you're dancing for yourself you're being sexy ladies i didn't take at the beginning but you have if you have your mirror get your mirror close by i have my mirror see i have my mirror right don't look at my house it's crazy looking right now <laughs> but i have my mirror professional dancers do it as well you understand so when i tell you these things i'm not just saying it just because oh all teachers say this to students no it's things that work for me that i'm sharing with you so get your mirror look into your mirror and do the movement for yourself all right so let's go again from here deep breath in and out five four Three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, yes. Three, four. Keep going. Keep whining. Keep whining, please. Good. Add the breath. Three. Caress the movement, caress the music, that's it. And you know how I know, ladies, that you're doing it intentionally? I know that you're doing a movement intentionally when your eyes stop darting all over the place. <laughs> you see, once those eyes stop darting and you start to focus on one spot, 
I know that you're intentionally focusing your movement. So that's what I want you to do. All right, go ahead. Get that movement in, and I want you to switch switch directions at your own pace. I'm not going to tell you when to switch directions. Five, six, seven, go. One. Nice sage, very nice sage. You go, girl. I love it. Breath in and out. Yes, lady. Focus that energy. Very nice. Yes, Ruby. Better, Ruby. Yes, Khadija. Come on, girl. Focus. That's it. Relax, relax the face, relax the entire body. Don't doubt yourself. Yes. Yes, Tracy. Mm -hmm. Right, we're gonna do that again. I want you to do that movement again. Towards the end, a lot more person started to get a little bit more free and I love it. So let's go again with this music. Same thing, same movement, any direction you wanna start with, you're starting in that direction. Six, five, six, Seven, go for it. One. Good. Use the breath. Breathe, ladies. Come on, Tracy. Go for it, girl. Yes. Slow it down, slow it down, Tracy, and enjoy each moment of that rotation. Yes, enjoy each moment. Don't, don't, don't race it. Yes. Yes. Beautiful, Sage. Beautiful. Yes, Khadija. Get that hair in. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. I can see the difference in your body when you're giving it oxygen versus when you're allowing carbon dioxide and all kinds of other metabolites to pile up inside, right? So I want you to breathe deeply and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out so I can see the difference, right? So continue, we do this for about a couple more counts and then we move to the next step. Go ahead. Go for it. Add the shoulders. Work the shoulders. Move with the shoulders. Look down at the shoulders. One. Yes. Two. Good. Good. Better. Yes. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Very good, ladies. Very nice. Yes. Yes. Good. Love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much. All right. I love that. So now we're going to be moving into the going into the the, uh, the second movement. If we remember that one. Okay, so the second movement was us coming out, coming off of the chair, and the transitions for which are you're holding on to the legs, and you're closing the legs, and you're pushing the booty up and off of the chair. All right? 
So let's go through that. For the persons who didn't get it, hold on to the hold on to the chair. Push down onto the chair. Lift up. Right? Good. And again. So open the legs. Close the legs. Give the legs a little nudge. Put the hands back here. And lift up. All right. Let me turn to the side. Good idea. Let me turn to the side just so if anybody wants to really see what I'm doing, you can see that a little bit clearer. So when I open the legs here, my hands kind of slide to the outside. And then I close the legs. And then my hands come this way. And then they go down onto the chair. So the contact is never le left or is never missed. Or it doesn't stop. Push yourself up and off of the chair. That's where the wind starts. Two. Three. And four. So when I'm doing that, I'm also thinking in terms of the hips. I'm lifting the, the right hip, lifting the left hip, lifting, lifting, lifting. So versus just going around in a circle, you're actually getting that sensual feeling in that you're lifting from one point into the next point. So let's try that from the open leg. And the legs, the hands, we're just here. We just finished this movement. So now I want you to hold. From the last wind out, I want you to bring the hands here on the outside. Close the legs. Slide the hands back. Put the hands onto the chair. Lift the hips up and off. Wind the hips. Two. Three. Four. All right, let's do that again. So from the last wind, we'll go last wind in five, four, three, two, one. One. And bring the legs together. Hands come back. And they go right down. Push up and off the chair. Wind. Two, three, four. Let me see you do that. We're going to do that again. We're actually going to do that on a loop. All right, so I'm going to do that the same way we did the first one. I want you to, to do that one. Let's tap into that one. So we're doing it from the last one, just like what we did a while ago. So here we go. Oops, I expanded the wrong screen. Hold on. Okay, here we go, ladies. I'm seeing you again. Five. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. So last one. One. And close. Bring the hands back. Push it up. And off. Wind it. One. Good. Two. Three, four, yes, I love it. And let me just say, let me just say, as females, we tend to be, well, I don't know. As females, we tend to be very cat-like, right? If there's any animal that is similar to a lady, a woman, it's the cat, right? And so, if when you're whining, naturally what happens, and what I can see for most of you, when you really let go, some very, is it feline? When you refer to a cat? I don't remember. You can drop it in the chat. I really don't remember. <laughs> I think it's feline. I don't know. But when you're here, a lot of us naturally, when we really let go, our head starts to kind of come back. So even when you're up a little bit, the head kind of starts to come back. It's very cat-like, it's very teasing, very seductive. And so if you feel yourself letting go like that, allow it to happen, right? Because that's your natural female self coming out. So why would you stop it? Why would you stop her? You know what I mean? So let's go again. I want you to think about that deep breathing in and out. Inhaling and exhaling. 
Let me start with a song because it's always nice to start from the top. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Wine. Wine. Close it up. Close. And the hands back and push up. Yes. Good. And four. Let's do it again. In five, four, three, two, one. One wine. Wine out. Close it. And bring the hands back. Push it up and out. Give me a nice, sexy wine. Wine. Take your time. Three. Yes, girls. Four. Good job. We're going to do that again. Good. Very nice. Ready. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And round. And bring those legs in. Bring the hands up. Bring the hips up and out. Go for it. One. Good. Two. Very good. Three. Good work. Yes. Breathe. And down. Very nice. One more time. Do it one more time. See? No, because let me tell you why. Everybody looks so good. I'm just like, I need to see one more time. One more time. Let's go. Five. Six. Five, six, seven, and wind in. Bring them in. Hands up on the chair, up and out. Good. Wind, breathe, make it smooth. Yes. Three. Very nice on the wind, Tracy. Good. And push it back. Yes. All right. Sage and Khadija are ready for the floor. I see you girls. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool. So we are going to the floor. I love it. We're going to the floor, right? If there are any questions, if you have anywhere that you're still a little bit iffy about, a little bit crazy about, just let me know. So we're here. Let me play that music in the background so that I have that momentum in the background. Here we go, Mr. Mercado. All right, Stu. So remember now, so we just got done here. Two, three, four. From here, it's it may take a bit of strength so the farther out you put your body it'll be harder for you to go all the way down right for transitions so for persons who are having challenges moving from the chair to the floor try to keep your wine as close to the chair as possible so when it's time to go down you're you're right here you stoop down first and then when you're good and ready you can put down one leg first then the other leg is that helpful so if you're here stoop down so your back can even still be against the chair stoop down ah sexy Ooh. come back here and then you can reposition the feet right so let's try the transition let's try the transition you can focus your camera so i can actually see your feet so i can see i would love to be able to see from here down to here so i can see that you're not twisting your feet in any weird way i don't want anybody injured here All right so position yourself and if you can even possibly if you have the space turn yourself sideways yeah if it's possible to even turn your chair sideways so i can see even better right so i can see your foot placement i can see the ankles i can see the knees i can see what the hips are doing over the knees so we're out here lifting up up we're just going down to the floor now ready five four three two one and down 
and out and down we're gonna go up again this time I want to come closer I'm gonna look at what you're doing ready in five four three two and one go ahead lift it up hold it there and good slowly down take it down good all right let's try this again let me see what i can say um, how do you feel how does it feel for the persons who are having challenges how do you feel is it knees is it ankles how, how do you feel when you're going down type a message in the chat and let me know if i can if i need to do a modification or anything everybody's okay everybody okay with it yeah i feel good tamia says she feels good okay cool all right cool okay cool cool all right so let's do that again so since we don't have any challenges with that one really let's work on breathing breathing out so you take a breath in take a breath in and come down and you're out here right so you take a breath breath in before you go down breathe out as you're going down let's see if that helps so if you're here but i don't want you to breathe in like <gasps> you understand, you understand? <laughs> don't do that all right i'm dramatic okay so in five four three two one breathe in and go down two three four five six seven eight <laughs> all right let's go again use the breath in it use the breath and think about it you have it in your mind that when you hit that floor you're giving them a whole booty show you're giving them a whole hip show right so if we're here five six oh let's go in three so we're up here three two one going down five six seven and eight so you see yeah i see for most persons we kind of go forward naturally and that's fine because now the hips are going to be going around and you can actually if you feel confident enough to keep yourself forward while you're doing the wine then by all means you can do that as well versus just coming back here which is sexy as well but th there's an option of coming either here or right here okay because most persons i see from your videos when you come down you naturally come forward and then go back so you can start your wind down here and then you come up actually that's really sexy and if everybody would like to incorporate that i think you should that's hot as f if you were to come down <laughs> yes can you just say she likes that better i do too i think it's sexy it feels good okay so we have nine minutes in the class so let's get into we're gonna go right down into the reverse wine and then we're gonna go oh this music is not too loud right so we're gonna go down we're gonna go from the top we're gonna go right down into the reverse wine and then we're going to go into the twerk on the floor and then i'm going to pause there well actually in the interest of time let's skip over all of that you can let me know if this is okay with you since most of us complained about the or expressed concern about the jumping from the floor to up let's do that right now because i think everything else the twerk moving transition from the cat into this or this is a little bit that's okay for everybody right it's really just the jump up that's right i think i think so i think that's what everybody was saying yeah i think so so let us go to this position here let's skip out all of that in the interest of time let's just make sure this twerk is nice and good so this is a modified version other ladies you know you can go down here so we do eight 
five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I go here. So from here, my arms are pretty strong. My core is very strong because I work out very often. So from here, what I do is I bounce off of my the ball of my foot to here, right? However, if you know that you don't have that level of fitness, you can, I wonder if we can just, yeah, just stand up. Can we do that? From here, can we just stand up? Is that possible? So versus a jump up, say if you, for example, if you're here, one, two, three, four, probably five, six, seven, eight. Right? So versus doing the full eight twerks on the floor, you just do, if you're all the way down here, my more advanced ladies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you start getting up on five, six, seven, eight. But I know some ladies would still want to have that dramatic jump. I know, it's sexy. Every time I do that jump, ladies are like, I wanna learn that! <laughs> Save your hair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. I don't know. We just kind of have to, you guys would have to work through it and see. Let me see what you have. Let me see what you have. Because I may do something that feels right to me and then be careful with the knees, please. So let's go. Six, five, six, seven, do the twerk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How does it feel? Does it, it feels okay? It, feel, it looks awkward to me. It looks, it feels okay? I don't know. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Or yeah, somebody typing, go ahead and type. Tell me how you feel. It looks awkward. Yeah, it is It is awkward. It looks awkward to me. Um, but is it? I understand, I understand. One, two, three, four, five. So if you go, I wonder if that is workable. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that workable or is that is that even more technical? Hold on. I did. I'm here. One, two, three, four. I did five, six, and I put the leg out to this side. So from here, I did this. So here. Is that even worse? Is that even worse? Tracy says she, she likes that. So try that. Let's try that. Let's see if it works then. Let's try that one. Because you know what? It, it kind of feels like a cat woman. <laughs> it makes me feel like a cat woman. <laughs> Kenny just says she loves it as well. All right, let's try that one. So if we're down here, and ladies who are up here, you know you can do that. It's easy. So it's even easier if you're up here to come here, right? And my ladies who are down here, you know you get into that position here to go here. And actually you kind of end up turning sideways to your partner a little bit. So let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me do it again with you. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Shaking, going. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. So, all right, so you, you do it, let me see. Ready, in five. Oh, we have three minutes. So let's, let me just see that one again and then we go from the top one time and then we'll work through this again after we practice this weekend 
and then next week when we come we will um work through it again all right so let me see that one step again <laughs> ruby says it's more work but looks sweet <laughs> Kids are up. Oh, okay, Sage. Yeah, Sage is in Vietnam. All right, so here we go, ladies. So we're going on the floor. Five, six, or let's go from here. Let's go from here into that, into this step, reverse wind. Or you know what? Let's just go from the top. Let's just go from the top. Let's just go from the top. Yeah? Let's go from the top. Let's go from the top. Because I don't want to tire you out. We're going up and down, up and down. I don't want to tire you out. So here we go. Let's visualize that sexy self, sensual self, that beautiful self of yours. Here we go, ladies. One. Two. Three. Four. Close those legs just like we practice. Bring the hands up. Touch the chair. And one, two, three, four. Bring it down slowly. And one, two, uh, three, four. Reverse it. That felt better, yes? We go one last time from the top. One last time from the top. Here we go. Take your positions. Breath in, chest is up and out, arching that back. Getting ready. All right, hold on. My bad, my bad. Tracy was ready. Ruby was ready. Hold on. <laughs> good though, that's good. Ready. Deep breathing, sensual, sexy breathing. Here we go. One, two, three. Yes, girls. Four. Close it. Look at your thighs, sexy thighs. Push it up and out. Wind it. Good. Two. Three. That's it. Four. Take it down now. Sexy. And wind. That's it. Two. Three. Four. Reverse it. One. Cat crawl. Get a cat and out. Shake it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn it. Wop, wop, wop. Good. That feels good. I hope it felt good for you as well. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's just take it down. Bring the arms up overhead. Deep breath in, bring the arms up overhead. And exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale, bring the arm over to the side. Hold it there. Bring it right around to the front, nice and gentle with the body. Remember you just worked out the body so you are tired. Just relax the arms, shake the arms. From here, you're gonna pull up from your hips, squeeze the butt as you pull yourself up. Good, pull the belly button in. If you're feeling dizzy, you wanna sit down. If you're having a headache, you wanna sit down. That's not normal. 
And if your headache or dizziness persists, you want to alert somebody. And up. Shake it out, 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 shake it out. Give me a nice sexy wine. Other way, nice sexy wine. And breathe in, one last time. Nice sexy big heart in front of your chest. You love yourself. I am woman, I am sexy, I am divine. Yeah? Big up yourselves, ladies. So I open the floor. If you have any questions, we are over time, but if you have any questions, I'm here.